Hammer notes that humans worried much, too much about death, while the A&R believe that the end can only come once you have fulfilled your purpose. Uhura asks him what his purpose is, and his is to fix what is broken. He asks her what she felt the purpose of her life was. I don't believe she knew what it was. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because if, if that's your philosophy, then you don't really know. Like, your purpose could be something different than what you thought it was. Yeah. And that's uh, kind of his answer to it as well, is that there's only one way to find out, and they secure themselves to the deck. Well, you didn't die, so obviously your purpose is not fulfilled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Zuniga reports the inertial dampeners are at maximum and calls a brace for heavy gravity. Pike reminds them uh, of what was said earlier about the cost of exploration and believes that there will always be something to challenge them, but they would not back down or give in to fear. Was that another Pike-spirational speech? That's it. I, you know, when this season's done, we're going to have to do a super cut and an episode where we just do a super cut of Pike inspirational speeches, I think. <laughs> the Warren ship changes course as the Enterprise approaches the accretion disk of the black hole. Weighed down by the increased gravity, Spock strains to reach the controls but manages to do so. Himmer grabs Uhura's arm and they hold on for dear life. Outside the reach of the black hole's gravity, the Gorn detect the explosion of the AP-350. Thinking it to be the Enterprise, they fall back. <laughs> a moment later, the Enterprise slingshots free of the black hole's gravity, battered and singed, but intact. As lights come back up, Pike asks for a report. He hails him or uh, Uhura, hoping to hear from him. After a moment of silence, he concludes that both are dead. He's about to order Land to send a recovery team when Uhura's voice finally comes in, reporting that they were both all right. Much to the relief of the captain and the bridge crew, even Spock smiles a little. <laughs> Land wonders about the next time, knowing that the Gorn had never come that far inside Federation space before, and Pike is confident that next time they would not be caught by surprise. Back in sick bay, Una regains consciousness and finds herself connected to Mbinga by an intravenous line. The doctor had given her, given her his blood so she could stay alive. In her quarters, Lyanne puts on the pin commemorating the Puget Sound and joins Pike, who is honoring the seven lost crewmen with their caskets draped in the flag of the Federation. 